Guayaquil is the largest and most populous city in Ecuador and is located on the western bank of the Guayas River, which flows into the Pacific Ocean. The climate is very hot and that's why Guayaquil is completely different from the capital Quito. Guayaquil has a more Caribbean soul. In downtown Guayaquil, you can see many colonial-style buildings. The city inherited the Catholic organisation from the colonial Spanish times and that's why there is a beautiful cathedral as well. The renewed downtown area nowadays is reasonably secure to walk around, but be careful at night as downtown Guayaquil is not known as one of the safest areas. The Malacón is a long park stretching for several kilometres along the Guayas River with shops, an IMAX theatre, gardens and a beautiful view of both the river and downtown. This lively boardwalk features small food stands, other eateries and a blend of historic and modern buildings. From the waterfront you can see two famous neighbourhoods, Las Peñas and Santa Ana. These neighbourhoods are located on two hills and with its colourful houses these are the landmarks of Guayaquil. Las Peñas, where the city was founded, was actually rebuilt and painted in bright colours. Many of the area's 400-year-old houses have been converted into art galleries and several notable artists have studios in the area. It's great to climb all the way to the top of this hill. Just follow the 444 steps and at the top you will find a lighthouse and a small church. From there you get great views on the city, the river and the harbour. Guayaquil has several colourful markets to visit. The best place to buy your souvenirs, textiles, Ecuadorian decoration and other local stuff is Mercado Artesanal Guayaquil. Another wonderful market to visit in downtown Guayaquil is Mercado Municipal del Norte. This is a very local market with fresh products. You can buy your fruits here or just enjoy the picturesque moments. During daytime you can do everything by foot in downtown Guayaquil, but at night or if you travel longer distance, we suggest you take a taxi. Within the city the local bus system is confusing, but if you want to enjoy the beautiful places outside the city, it's best to take a local bus for just a few dollars. There are so many beautiful places to go outside Guayaquil. Go to one of the villages along the coast to do some dolphin or whale watching or take a taxi or a local bus to one of the beautiful beach villages. If you don't like to travel too far, go to Playas. At the beach you will see the fishermen bringing in their catch of the day. At one of the colourful beach bars you can order your beers, cocktails and the catch of the day on a plate of course. But there are many more places along the coast to go to. Salinas is a coastal city and important tourist centre. A great laid-back village is Montanita. This old fishing village nowadays is best known for surfing. Our favourite escape from Guayaquil for a few days is Porto Lopez. This small fishing town is still one of the most authentic villages. There are a few beach bars, restaurants and very simple places to stay overnight. The main reason to go to Porto Lopez is to make a day trip to Isla de la Plata. This island, sometimes called Mini Galapagos, is part of a national park and here you can see many seabirds like frigate birds, pelicans, albatross and the blue-footed boobies. Guayaquil the city itself is not much but away from the city are wonderful things to see and of course Guayaquil is the main port to go to the real Galapagos Islands. Unfortunately, we didn't get the opportunity to go there during our visit.